sitting in this room. We've had green ice in the basement. Who has green ice down here? The door's shut. Myrtle Cook, does that name sound familiar to you? Her name's Myrtle Cook. Oh. And she was shot and killed through her window. Oh. Right through her heart. This is the Horridge House in Vinton Train Depot in Iowa. So the Horridge House was built in 1858. Um, activity in here that we typically catch, uh, cat balls, EMF detectors, uh, K2s, REM pods are very active in this room. We've had green ice in the basement. We're investigating a insane haunted house and a train depot tonight. Two places in one. It's a twofer. <laughs> a twofer. I've been bitten in this room. Bitten? Actually. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. You're talking about. Yeah, um, I was standing what here. Bats? <laughs> yes, no, there are no bats in here so far. Okay, good. Um, I was standing here. Uh, we actually were leading a group that won a fundraiser. They, mm -hmm. they bid on an investigation with Josh and I, and um, we were doing that. They were all standing back here, and then all of a sudden I just felt a sensation on the back of my arm. Yeah. fireworks and stuff going on out here so it's kind of going to contaminate a little bit so we're going to wait till the fireworks show is over to start really doing some real investigation here see how loud that dude it's so loud yeah, of course that's our luck the night we come here and this happens they're begging so this is the horridge house this is in vinton iowa this place sounds absolutely incredible. Normally we have a uh, haunted um, paranormal high and seek that we do, but this time um, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. We're not the first YouTubers or paranormal investigators to do this. I've seen people do it. It kind of became famous from like the Conjuring movie stuff. Is uh, We're gonna do hide and clap. Ooh. You familiar with that? Yeah. Yeah, we've done it before with you. Also the basement's supposed to be super scary and there's a bat down there. So I know Seth's kind of worried about rabies and it's kind of scary, but I mean, Colt will probably uh, go down there with the bat. Colt's right here behind this camera. Um, Colt will probably go down there with the bat. I'll probably go down there. I'm not yeah. too enthused about a long needle being shoved into my stomach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're mostly ultrasonic as a day. Yeah. Sound bounces. A sonic bat, that's cool. <laughs> So, dude, I think you need to go back to school. Like, just from kindergarten all the way up, I swear to God. <laughs> Every time, dude. He's like, oh, ultrasonic, sonic bat. And then he farts. <laughs> dude, yeah, so he farts. Replay that clip. Replay that clip. Replay it. You'll see it. This is what, this is what we have to do with all the time. Oh, my farting made it go off. All right, this is Horridge House. Thank you guys, and let's get to it. Right here. Stand here. You're in the door. Count to 20, and we're gonna hide in here. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi. First clap. There's a piano in front of you. Second clap. Furniture. Third clap. Shelf. Shelf. Someone touched me. No one was by you. Fish up my favorite chess piece. <laughs> Do you want? <laughs> Fish up. 
fish, John. You have made no progress in walking. You've been walking like the same spot. Can I get another clap? Yes. Fish up. Oh, I can feel your hairy legs. <laughs> Jeez, it's like I hear it over there and I hear it over there. <laughs> Who are you? Oh my gosh, this is confusing. What? Is she on me? <laughs> gosh. Come on, literally what I did last time. Right. I like had to play oh. the piano. I got so used to the dark. Oh, the last time I got All right, how'd you tripod. do? I thought I did really bad. You did. How do you feel? Uh, I kept running into you. I felt so bad. And then... But yeah, so this is the train depot. This is actually connected to the previous train depot that we did over in Council Bluffs. They're both for the Rock Island the Chicago Rock Island line. So but it's super cool that we went to two places. This is our second place that's potentially connected to the other place. So there's this, apparently there is a seven foot tall shadow figure apparition that likes to walk around and mess with people. He either stands off and watches you or if you connect with him in some way or he likes to mess with people and get right up in your face and stuff. So that, that's gonna be really interesting to See if anything happens with this tall, shadow, slender man like creature. So we're walking. So basically right now what we're doing, we're doing some group stuff. Uh, Lizzie Biffy is... They're closing the door. I thought that came, it, the echoing is so weird out here, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going over to the Horridge house. Colt is uh, coming with us. Liz behind the camera. Um, they're inside with um, two cameras. There's um, one thing we got to debate on. Are we doing the basement at all? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm just setting up a motion light. We got it in the hallway between that room and where we're going to be sitting and the benches. And I figured if it was facing this way, we would see it go off on the, on the windows there. So. There wasn't too much activity here, but she did get bit near. here. Yeah. And then she... I don't remember if she said what room. She said she was standing here. The glass case. So, and I think she said, if I remember hearing her correctly, she said there's like a seven foot guy Oh, yeah. Which is, according to Cole, twice his height. <laughs> um, so I want to speak to the seven-footer. That's also, who I'm interested in. Yeah. He also apparently holds the hands of children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you come talk to us? Okay, we're in the sunroom. They said a lot of people... No one's investigated this room yet because they just cleaned it out. And they said it sat dirty for what, like, forever? Yep. That's dude, it's so humid in here too. It's probably from all the windows and the sun just hanging it all day. Thus is why it's called the sun room. <laughs> okay, we got a couple devices. We got a uh, REM pod on there. We got a K2 over there. Where, where'd you put the K2? Right. With the light? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I was like, is that part of the projector thing? Why would it be on? I don't know. I mean, like, What'd you do if the projector just turned on, sort of? Flash and then like play a, like a random video, like a scary video. Yeah. You'd be like, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it'd be a terrifying experience. But Is there anybody in the sunroom? Is it all right that we're in here? Hello. What's your name? What year were you born? Is this like don't answer? What? I heard right after you said that it said don't answer. Really? Yeah. How come, how come you don't want him to answer? Is 
creaking. What? Like a creaking or a tapping. Or like tap, tap, tap. Yeah. Can you tap again for us? Did you hear it, Colt? Like through the app or you're talking? No, real life. No. Colt didn't hear it. Can you tap one more time for us? K2 kind of spiked a little bit. Did it? A little bit, yeah. Can you tap one more time for us? Don't. It spiked. Okay. When you say tap, it makes the K2 go off. Does it? Can you tap on one of the windows? Oh my god, every time. This is interesting. Are you trying to tap? I, apo I apologize, I'm not hearing it. Oh, you are. Okay, I'm not hearing it, but thank you for trying and confirming that. Thank you. Have, have you ever used this device? Yes, you have? Okay. Like I said, I'd like to hear a tap, but I mean, if you're trying, I really appreciate it. We just can't hear it. That was me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. So we got this here, and you can speak to us through this, and we'll try to make out what you're saying. Sing? Sing or stay. So are you from Vinton, Iowa? Secret? Or it or might Satan. be stupid like earlier. Oh, I said uh, secret is what I heard, but oh, okay. like it could have been Satan too because I thought I, I heard Satan like earlier. Steve. It was an S for sure. Yeah. Could you repeat what you said? Satan. Steven. Yep. Were you kidding? Yeah, I heard Satan. Yeah. Really? Cool. Well, nice to meet you, Stephen. Uh, are, uh, are you from here? If, it, if you're having a hard time communicating through, can we slow this down? Um, I almost want to say it. Yeah, I'm going to definitely sound like something. The fuck is that? It sounds like a scream, kind of like a... We're just trying to hang out and have a good time and communicate, get your story out to the world, or do you just wanna, oh, okay, thank you. Do you like that? Yeah? Okay, yeah, we're just gonna try to get to know you a little better. If you wanna hang out with us, feel free to hang out with us all night. We're gonna be here most of the night. My friends are at the train depot right now. Do you know the train depot down the road? Yeah, you do? Have you ever been there? Have you, have you heard a lot about the train depot? Yeah? Do a lot of people, uh, or do a lot of trains go through? Frequently? Okay, so we're gonna be going to the basement. They did not give us a tour of the basement, for one. So this is all blind going in there. Just like bats. Apparently there's a bat down there. We don't want to raid. Or more than one, one of them. Yeah, if you see bats on that thing, like a bunch, or mm -hmm. just see a bat, let us know where it is and we'll mm -hmm. really get out of there. We don't want rabies. If we hear a bunch of monsters, I'm not going. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna try going down there. We don't know what it looks like, so we're gonna be so disoriented. Me first? Yep. Is there a light switch on the wall? Oh, there's one right above. Yeah. I kind of want to do it like this, though. Ugh. I don't. You see a bat? Ooh, where's the bat? What? I don't want bats. <laughs> I mean, there's a 
a bat right there. Is it really? Are you serious? Oh my god, you shithead. <laughs> yeah, it is a bat. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, Colt. <laughs> and the red bottom <laughs> stabs you in the butt. Does that scare you too? Oh, oh. I'm just kidding. So, we're in the basement. But I don't like the bat idea. <laughs> okay, so we're in the basement. Apparently there's some activity that happens. You can turn that on and just put it in the middle there. Alright. I can find the switch. Basements like this just creep me out. Like Basements out. are always the creepiest part of the houses. Yeah. It's actually not as creepy as I thought it would look down here. Yeah, it just looks like storage. Yeah. yeah. Anyone down here with us? Any spirit bats? Anyone down in the basement with us? Oh, oh, do you see that? Did you see it going on? Well, you cl caught it obviously, right? What? I caught the second one that it just see did. See it? Mm-hmm. Well, K2's going off. Hello? <coughs> I heard called. Mm -hmm. I coughed. Is anyone down here with us? I see what time is it? Set the key to the like, sit on block or something, I don't know. Where did you? Did you hear it that time? Yeah. Did you hear it? Mm hmm Someone down here with us? I heard someone likes to mess with people down here. Right here. Oh, I'd say we've been here for what, like 45 minutes now. Uh, we didn't really get anything through the uh, voice recorder here, but we got a lot of responses through um, the spirit box. Um, I think right now we're just taking a small break and then we're going to go ahead and do uh, some necrophonic on one of our phones in the office area. Um, like I said before on some of our previous videos we, we've done, we don't really like to use necrophonic as like a main source of communication, but more of a like coincide. Coincide or just see kind of the different or interesting responses we get out of it. Especially so, if you get similarities. Right, you know, between two. We're running, um, gosh, what do we usually run at the same time? We do like necrophonic and something else. We'll try to do the spirit box and necrophonic. Or spirit box and uh, that other one or whatever. And we'll kind of just like, we'll, we'll see if they kind of coincide with one another. Um, which is pretty interesting sometimes. If the responses were gonna be the same. You guys gotta check the basement out just so you know. You guys got to check out the basement, just so you know. It's there's no bat that we saw. Sorry, Colt stands like right next to me with the other one. You gotta try out the basement, and we did not see a bat down there. Sick, nasty, bro. I think what I'm gonna have me and Bishop do with Colt is go upstairs to these areas. Oh, there it is, time check. Yeah, we're gonna do a time check quick. Alright. I got 308. That's what we got. Right. Perfect. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna see what happens. Just put a brand new battery in the Sony. It's so hot and humid up here. Right? It is, it really is. When you were up here, you were like, yeah, it actually makes me feel like sick almost. A lot of people claim that they see apparitions and stuff in these rooms, including this chair right here. I'm gonna have to try, probably have Bishop try this first. I'm gonna have you blindfold sit there. Okay. We're gonna go in the room across. 
touch them. No. No. Alright, so Bishop's in the room, adjacent. Is that the right word? Or should we be in a more further away room? Right? Across the way. We're gonna start in here and make our way right. further and further. Farther and farther, whatever word you want to say. Okay, so Bishop over there is in the room where people, he's in the chair that people say they see an apparition form, like full body in that chair. Is there any way you can poke him or whisper something in his ear? He's completely blindfolded, so he can't see anything. So if you wanted to do anything to him or tell him something, or anything you'd like to tell us. Break. Break in? Is that what that thing said? Yeah. That one definitely said coal. So. The room, the other room. Yeah, I heard the other room too. Oh, well, my goosebumps are getting crazy right now. I know, that's getting see. chilly. Do you feel him too? I feel it. Did you hear that cold? Mm-hmm. Feel. Alright, we're gonna walk to the sun room. Okay. If I can see from my legs. What doesn't matter is the goals and what does. So Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's try the basement. Try the basement? Yeah. Alright, well we're going down into the basement if you want to follow us down there. I heard something. I can't make yeah. a noise though. I heard walk the steps. What did you say? It yeah. sounded like walk the steps, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I heard a laugh. Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like a laugh. Yeah, a little bit. It was like, whoop, whoop. So are you, uh, are you down here with us? What are the glowing eyes that people are talking about? Sound like you're next, or that's it. Yeah. You can switch to this for a second. Some necky. Sound like cold sits right away. Turn it up. Is it easier to speak through this? We can turn it up. That was weird. Have any of you seen green eyes down here? Yeah. Who has green eyes down here? Me. Who's me? I feel like because it's names that I want to hear that I'm right, selectively, hear selectively it, yeah. kind of hearing it. I'm just still kind of curious about these green eyes though. I'm curious about green eyes too. Who, um, what's, who has the green eyes? What's your name? Let me in. This is how I... Let you in where? <laughs> I'm just curious about the green eyes. Like, what are they? <laughs> you know? Right. 
Well, there's several things that it could be, you know. The door's fucking shut. Oh, is it? I oh. left it open. Oh, did you? Did you? I shut it. Why'd you shut it? Why, because we can't get out? I don't think you can open it from the back. Oh, we'll find out. Find out real quick. <laughs> yeah. Walking. There's a really creepy spider in the corner here, though. You can. Oh, okay. See? Good. All I right. think I've done that before. Okay. Dude, Bishop, like, would that have creeped you out, though? Yeah, maybe a little, a little bit. bit, but we, we got probably one of this. Okay, I'll say, okay, I'm cold, this is my lone walkthrough. I'm cold, this is my lone walkthrough. <sighs> Just so Tyler knows. My lone walkthrough. Kind of a lone challenge. See, they're all walking across the street. That's the thing like, how long do you spend in a room? That's around there. Oh, <laughs> weird. Like, it sounded like a walkie. and it went down. Anything happen? I heard a couple noises you have to catch on camera. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll see what you guys get. What did you hear? What and where. Well, we'll see what you guys get. Bishop, I'm doing my solo walk. <laughs> talking about that little bat. Yep. Oh, and I'm out. There's a little bat. I'm gone. Other way. I'm gone. Well, I think for you, you two don't have to go down in the basement. I went down there and I went to go in that second room and the little bat. I'm like, oh, I'm going the other way. I'm done. I'm done down here. I'm not oh, dealing with right? that bat. There's a bat down there. Though? Yeah, there is. I was like, oh man, that's a big fly. And then I looked at it. And he was like, vertigo. All right, like, no basement, I guess. <laughs> yep. Thank you guys so much for watching our investigation of the Horridge House. This place was absolutely amazing. We really hope to be back to the Horridge House soon, and I definitely recommend checking it out. It is a fantastic place and a fantastic place to paranormal investigate. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. So you guys talk back and forth just for reference. Back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. <laughs> back, and forth. back and forth to back. Forth and back.
I figured I'm talking when I was zoomed out, and they were talking again. Zoom yep, in. so I'll keep talking back and forth. Oh, my farting made it go off.